when the Lord says he suddenly will come to pass and all his predictions come true. Some of these predictions are not even the ones that you know about. God just gave, gave you a snippet of the picture. God just gave you a little, a, a little snippet of it. But what he has in store for you is bigger. What he has in store for you is the magnitude of it. He can't reveal it all to you because your mind cannot fathom it. Your mind cannot comprehend it. All he did... Good morning my brothers and sisters welcome to the channel wherever you are in the world I hope that you guys are doing well that you and your family are safe and, uh, and, and that God is keeping you in good health uh, brothers and sisters I'm gonna jump straight into today's message the word I have for you uh, so the last uh, video I did we were in uh, Genesis um, chapter 41 that's where uh, Joseph is released out of prison because Pharaoh had a dream now in that particular video I didn't dwell on the dream that Pharaoh had but something has been eating at me because when I was reading that um that chapter, chapter 41, Genesis 41, certain words jumped at me. And even though I, I didn't mention it in the in the video, uh, it continued to dwell in my in my in my mind. So I thought, hey, let me come and share this word with you guys. Now going uh, into in, into into Pharaoh's dream, uh, that uh, we start at at verse uh, one in chapter forty one. It says, uh, "Then it came to pass at the end of two full years that Pharaoh had a dream, and behold, he stood by the river. Suddenly they came up out of the river seven cows, fine looking and fat, and they fed in the meadow." Uh, and it co continues to then say that um, seven ugly cows came out of the same river and they ended up eating the fat cows. Um, uh, Pharaoh then uh, uh, wakes up and then he, he sleeps again and he has a second dream. And when we are now in verse 5, it says he slept and dreamt a second dream. And suddenly, seven heads of grain came up on one stalk, plump and good. The dream continues, and it says that seven thin ones came out, and 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 they devoured those seven plump and uh, full heads. Now, brothers and sisters, uh, when I was reading these verses, I mean, this is quite uh, like we are in five verses in the same chapter and and two times the word suddenly is used and this word suddenly if you notice was used in relation to when the the, the, the good stuff came when they were talking about the fat cows the 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 the, 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 the well-nourished cows it happened suddenly in the dream that they appeared and now again when they go and refer to the, mm, the the seven heads of grain that were plump and good it says suddenly they appeared now th this reminded me of one of the verses that has carried me since I started this channel when I I was going through my dark moments and, and and I was saying God when 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 and God gave me a verse I had never heard of and that's Isaiah 48 verse 3 where the Lord says um, long ago I told you what is going to happen then suddenly I took action and all my predictions came true brothers and sisters look at that when God does the good things in our life when God is about to bring to pass the great and beautiful things that he has in store for us they happen suddenly I want you to for a minute to imagine that you are Joseph you have lived almost 17 years years going through all these hardships yes the favor of God was with you let's say the previous night Joseph was in prison uh, he couldn't have possibly predicted that the very next day he will get out of prison remember the person who even gets to mention him is somebody he had talked to two years ago but suddenly uh, God plants dreams uh, onto Pharaoh when he's sleeping that night and suddenly uh, Joseph gets out of prison suddenly 
finally joseph in the same day that he gets out of prison where he thinks i am just going to the palace to go and interpret the dream of pharaoh suddenly joseph gets to be uh, given fine rings to have uh, uh, garments of great uh, like great apparels uh, uh, linen of, of great value uh, to be put on him suddenly joseph's life turns around suddenly he gets out of prison and he is in a palace suddenly he goes from being a nobody to the one of the most uh, respectful Acted people in, 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 in Egypt suddenly the Lord turns his life around so brothers and sisters uh, this video was for me to say to you, you you don't know when your suddenly is going to come you don't know when the suddenly of the Lord is gonna happen uh, in, in all that you are going through you, you just need to make sure that you hold on you hold on on for your suddenly because you don't know when the lord is going to 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 to, to deliver it for you uh, it, it might be immediately after the, this video it might be tomorrow it might, might be next year but the, the beautiful thing about it is that when it does happen the lord says when it does happen that's in isaiah 48 verse 3 he says when it happens then all his predictions come true all his predictions not some of them not 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 not, not the, the new ones he says the ones that i told you long ago the things that i told you about uh, your life long ago when i snap my finger i will suddenly make sure that all of them come to pass. Joseph was given this dream 17 years prior where he had his family bowing down to him. And when it came to pass, it, kept, it happened suddenly when he and, 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 and realized something. Uh, when it happened, it didn't happen that Joseph woke up and all of his uh, sudden his, his, his family was bowing down to him it was a whole nation that was bowing down to him and this is just the start you know the suddenly that is happening right now is the start because yes in in egypt right now uh, joseph is, is starting to get respected but other places around are going to be affected by the famine that's gonna hit the land and joseph ends up being respected and and being talked about in lands across across seas across nations across rivers so when the lord says his suddenly will come to pass and all his predictions come true some of these predictions are not even the ones that you know about god just gave you gave you a snippet of the picture god just gave you a little a, a little snippet of it but what he has in store for you is bigger what he has in store for you is the magnitude of it he can't reveal it all to you because your mind cannot fathom it your mind cannot comprehend it all he did it was show that 17 year old the people that he knew which is his family bowing down to him his mind was not ready to comprehend that nations nations will bow down to him that he will have such an influence in so many people's lives so brothers and sisters, uh, I hope that you will hold on for your suddenly. You will hold on for the suddenly of God because it's such a beautiful, beautiful time to live, to witness. It's a beautiful time to, to wait upon. And, 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 and whatever you are going through, I want you to just keep imagining that time when your suddenly comes to pass. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, we are all going through a lot of things. We're going through a lot of hardships, but I hope that you will hold on for your suddenly. Uh, have a beautiful day. Uh, I hope that the Spirit of God will will edify you i hope that it will encourage you and that it will keep you anchored in his word the bible is alive the bible is a living it's a living word of god and you need to feed on it you need to feast on it 
and, and, and use it as your anchor so that you can get to your suddenly. Uh, brothers and sisters, have a lovely day. Uh, I hope this message uh, gives you peace and I hope that it, it gives you reassurance that your day is going to come. The Lord uh, we, we pray to, the God we pray to, doesn't skip. He doesn't skip any household. Your turn will come. Celebrate that and glorify his name now because your suddenly will definitely be soon. All this I pray and say in the name of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen.